This is Dr. Frederick. I just want to respond to a question about uh, a problem on the homework assignment. And uh, so here we have quarterly revenues. And um, let's just open up our data and copy it. There's our data. Let's look over here now. Uh, so the student did okay on these things and then just had trouble getting the uh, the, the uh, regression coefficients and intercept. But this is what we're working towards here. I showed you uh, in, a, in a previous question uh, Walmart data. I wonder why it says it can't be found. Let's just see. All right, let's just open it up this way. Okay, and so what we, we the, the way we need to put our data is uh, in a format we have a year here and then a quarter here we don't need this dash one dash two we have a, a year on one column a quarter in another column one two three four one two three four and we're going to do these coded quarters which we're just going to go start with zero and just keep adding and then we're going to use this coding format where quarter one uh, has quarter one and no quarter two or quarter three quarter two has no quarter one it does have quarter two, it doesn't have quarter three. Quarter three doesn't have a quarter one, a quarter two, but it does have a quarter three, and quarter four doesn't have any of those three elements, so it's all zeros. This will be our repeating uh, coding uh, for quarters. Here, the, uh, the predicted value, the, uh, the revenues are going to be changed to a log value. Okay, so so the the Walmart problem in the book is um, our guide. Okay, so somehow we need to get our data in that format. I'm just gonna get rid of the header first. Okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy these data and then I'm gonna paste them over here and I'm going to do what's called a transpose so I did that and we'll put 1996 uh, here um, get rid of this okay now what we'll do is we'll just keep cutting And putting in the value below, and then we'll come over here and cut this again. This is a nice way to do it so you don't inadvertently leave something out. We're just going to take these quarterly data and put them in order down here. Okay, now we have our quarterly data lined up. Now what our years look like, uh, let's just change this formatting. Make it time. Or date, I guess. No, what, what do we want, time? No, nope, we want... Uh, 
We'll just leave it like that. Okay. What do we want our formatting to look like? We'll make it a number. And we'll, uh, we don't want to use the comma. And we don't want any decimal points. All right, so let's put the years in here. And we'll just go down, let's see, 1996. Here's the best way to do it. Let's do our quarters now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, and we'll just copy these. And paste that. Okay, now wherever we are we have a one, we'll just put the year in. We don't really need to do this, but it's a good way to remind ourselves of what we're doing. Okay. Now we're going to put in our coded quarters, and that just is the sequential number. Once you have a, a few data points in there, then you just grab it down here, and it'll put the se sequence in for you. Okay. Let's get these centered. Okay, now we're going to do um, our, our sequencing for our uh, quarters. So we have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. The first quarter has a quarter one, it doesn't have a quarter two or a quarter three. Quarter two doesn't have a quarter one, it has a quarter two, it doesn't have a quarter three. Uh, quarter three doesn't have a quarter one or a quarter two, it does have a quarter three. And quarter four doesn't have any of that. Okay, so that's our sequencing. And we're just going to copy that sequence for the four quarters. And paste it in. And just to save time, we'll recopy. Okay, now we're ready to do our regression problem. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to do one more thing. What we're going to do is take the log of the revenue, which is right here. Okay, and we'll take a coded quarter here. Okay, and we'll take log revenue. No, we got to insert. Sorry. Insert a column here. We'll have log revenue, okay? That's going to be the log 10 of G2. And if we copy that, it'll just keep moving the, the cell down. So here, you know, it's taking the, uh, the log of G19. That's the nice thing about Excel, when you just paste in that formula, it keeps taking the sequence down. All right, this isn't formatted very good, so let's format it. So we'll see the log value. We're going to use numbers, and we'll do like six data points there. Okay, so that's our log revenue, and this is our y value. These four columns are our x values for this uh, regression. We're going to use regression. Okay, 
and then we have labels we're going to use labels now we're going to grab our Y's or Y's or this H column okay now we'll grab our X's our X's are these four columns here okay now we'll get those and here's our values let's just check those against the book after we expand our columns here when you hit the bar like that it just expands the column as wide as it needs to go to show you all the values in there okay so that's our regression and let's just uh, take a look at the values in the problem that's what they are here's the 4.58 Here's the 0, 0, 0, 0015, here's the negative 0, 0, 0016, here's the negative 0, 0, 0036. Okay, now it wants us to then find the values for the four quarters in 2007. So let's go back here to sheet 1. And so we ended up with 2006, and what we want to know is we want the next four quarters, which are these. Okay, so we'll take those and we want to know that okay let's go back and grab our coding scheme here okay those quarters go with those values and so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, the intercept, and it's going to be equal to that, plus, oops, plus, um, well, I'm just having a brain lock here, hold on a second, here's our formula up here. Oh, here's the coded value. Okay, so in the coded quarter, B18 times 44 plus our first quarter times the coded value, 1 plus quarter 2 times the coded value plus quarter three times our coded value. Now, we don't ever want these values to change. So what we're going to do, B17, we're going to highlight it and we're going to hit F4. That puts little dollar signs in there. And we don't want any of our B values to change. Uh, in these B columns. So B18 we don't want to change F4, B19 we don't want to change F4, B20 we don't want to change F4, and B21 we don't want to change F4. Okay, so we have that. That's our regression formula and it comes out to 4.64. We're going to copy that and just paste it in here. Now wh what happens when you paste it like that is so here we're using uh, the the row 24 values a24 b24 c24 d24 when you go to the next row it's using the 20 row 25 values a25 b25 c20 so on so so forth okay so these are not our values because we uh, took the uh, logs of our revenue now we want to take the inverse log and so we'll raise 10 to these values uh, to get our revenue. Okay, and we'll see how that compares. Um, these are in uh, how many million, so... Yeah, that's very close. I think you have to be within a hundred. And uh, I don't know why that's off, but uh, the rest. 
seem to be okay. All right, so that's how you do that problem, but uh, it's very complicated. It's the hardest problem that we have, uh, these quarterly um, estimations. Okay, take a look at the video a few times if you're still confused, and then, you know, ask questions if you still need to. All right?